So hello and welcome. Today we are going to plug my wife's rear left tire in her Model S. She's developed a leak. She said it gave her an alarm. I've looked at it and I've identified some debris in the tire. So you and I are going to look at it, pull out the debris and install a plug. Being in the country, that's my best option. So let's get to it. I have located the hole and I've marked it with this chalk. Let's take a look at it. You can see the object is down below surface. So here's the object. As you can see, it's embedded quite deep in the hole. We're going to have to use a tool to try to get that out. So let me see what I can do, dig around a little bit here. So we'll go to plan B. Now this is a pair of wire cutters. And uh, this wire, it's steel, and uh, I think I can probably get in there and grab just underneath of it. Hopefully, get a hold of it enough. Yeah, I think I can do it. There we go. Okay, so you can see, it appears to be a little nail. Oh, it's not much. Look at that. It's the head of a screw that's been ground off from driving on it. So it's not much, but it's enough to make the tire leak. Now what I usually do, kind of gross, Put a little bit of spit on there, but I can't because there's so much air coming out now that you know, I can feel air coming out. So after I remove the uh, offending object here, doesn't take much. The next step, I bought this repair kit off of Amazon and I've read the instructions. So this thing, let me back this up a little. This thing is part of the kit. It's made by Boulder Tools. This is actually the reamer. And the reamer's job is to make sure that the hole is large enough to take the plug. So I'm gonna stick it in the hole. Now I've gotta get up off my seat here and make a, sure this hole is large enough using this reamer Okay, so we are now in the tire with the reamer. Now the tire has air in it still, which is fine. So the next step is I need to prepare the plug that's going to go in the hole. So let me set this over here. So the next part of the kit is this tool here. Kind of odd looking. So after reading the instructions from Boulder Tool, as you can see, it's got a T-handle. It's got this retainer. And uh, you stick the plug in the slot. Now you have to do that with pliers, according to the instructions. These are the plugs. They're uh, very sticky, so you do not want to touch them with your hands. So I'm going to use these smooth jaw pliers because they recommend in the instructions that you do not touch this stuff. All right. Okay, so I freed up the top from the bottom. Ah, here's my dog. Hi, Luna. We're gonna put this here. Go ahead and open up the lubricant. Make a small hole. We don't need a big mega hole. Supposed to lubricate the end of this so it allows it to go into the 
tire, which we did, and it's not too much lubricant, just a little. Then I take the pliers, according to the instructions, hold that there, and grab this thing. See if I can even get it out of the plastic. There we go. Okay. So I've separated one of the plug bits. And again, they don't recommend that you touch it. So I'm going to try to feed it in here without touching it too much. Try to get it in the hole of the plug handle. Kind of get this and pull this plug through. Kind of goopy. I think that's what the lube does for us. Okay, so you're supposed to pull it about equidistant through the handle now. Okay, so I think we're ready to insert it. All right, let me just double check. Yep, that's what it says. Okay, now we're ready to do the insertion. So let me get prepared for that. Get the wheel up here. Okay, now remember the reamers here and uh, these are steel belted tires. So I just wanna make sure that we're a big enough hole in here. Okay, now, make sure I can see what we're doing. Now I'm gonna pull the reamer and I'm gonna insert the plug to the depth where um, about a half inch of this plug sticks out. And then I'll show you the next step, okay? Okay, now, I'm gonna insert the plug. It's like wrestling a horse. Let's push a little harder here. Okay. All right. It looks like we got three quarters of an inch. I'm going to go a little more. I think that's about it. Now, the procedure it says you take this thing here and you hold it against the tire <clears throat> okay so I have pulled this out it's cut off the plug the plug is in the tire let's uh, have a close-in view of that And there's our plug. They want you to cut these off. So I will do just that. I won't cut them flush, but I'll cut them close. Okay, well, we'll let this air dry and cure, whatever it's going to do, and uh, we'll see what goes on. Time to air it up. That's good. And uh, we got 35 pounds in here. There we go, 43 pounds. Okay, we are ready to go. We're gonna put this back on the car now. We have our plug tire here, and uh, it's ready to go back on the car. So first thing you wanna do, obviously, is uh, make sure the threads are clean of debris and junk. Then you wanna pick up the tire, 
put it on, try to get an idea where the lug nuts are. Because the tire's kind of heavy. And I usually pick it up with my feet, get an idea where it goes, stick one on, and shove it on. Next, I have this really great caddy here. It has all the lug nuts in it. So I'll stick one in, another one, righty-tighty. Okay, so now what I do, I've got my drill gun here, and uh, I put the lug wrench and an adapter to a quarter inch here on the end, and uh, I just run these in carefully. Uh, you don't be in a big hurry, you just take your time, or you can hand thread it, which however that works for you. And it has a clutch on it, so what you're hearing is the, the clutch in the drill. This is just a regular, everyday DeWalt drill. Any electric drill would be fine. It just keeps you from having to try to thread it in with the breaker bar or the torque wrench. So just like when we do our autocross tire changes, I go around, make sure that everything is more or less on. All right, now let me get the torque wrench. So this is a 21 millimeter. It's got a plastic sleeve on it. It keeps the, um, the wrench from scoring the inside of the tire. So uh, what I'll do now is uh, stick it on the torque wrench. This is half inch size. And uh, the torque for these wheels are 129 pounds. Now, with my torque wrench, you must leave it unloaded. What that means is you take the stress off to down like 10 pounds or so at the very bottom of the scale. If you leave it up at 130 pounds, it puts a huge amount of pressure on there and it'll become uncalibrated over time. So this is a lock nut down here. I go ahead and unscrew that so I can turn this and I'll crank it and the scale reads. So I'll go ahead and torque this up here. You want to adjust it so that it reads there's 130 at the zero, and I'm gonna back it off to 129. So it's right at the 130 mark, and I'm at the one, so that's 129 foot-pounds. Then tighten up the lock nut here at the end. So now, uh, you can't torque this unless it's on the ground. So what I'll do now is I'll lower it using my floor jack here, and uh, just put a little bit of pressure on it We'll just loosen this up so it's just onto the ground and I'll tighten it back up and then I will go around. This is a ratcheting torque wrench. Okay, the click means you're at the proper torque. You go across the wheel Okay, and then I go back where I started. Okay, we are torqued, ready to put the dress nuts on. The dress nut is a little plastic cover that covers up the lug nut itself. So it looks pretty. All right, so that's it. So that's, uh, remounting the wheel. Now I'm going to go ahead and let the jack down and we'll put full pressure on this. And just to be on the safe side, I personally do it this way. You can do it however you wish. I uh, leave the plug up and uh, I let the tire sit on the pressure for 24 hours or so unless you're in a big hurry, just to make sure the plug's going to stay there. 
I'll take a picture of it to make sure that that plug has not inched out or moved. And after that point in time, we're good to go. So let's let this thing down. Okay. And then don't forget to take your lifting puck out of the car. And actually took the jack pad, but this is a lifting puck. You gotta make sure you take it out of the car. You'd look pretty funny driving down the road. So that's it, the tire is plugged and uh, we'll monitor the pressure uh, in 24 hours and uh, we're good to go, we can drive it off. This is my wife's Model S, by the way. She ran over the screw, but she's had it for almost two years now and this is the first uh, thing she's run over, so worked out real well. What I find is uh, if you have yourself a good plug kit, you can actually plug the tire with a little know-how of actually how to use it. And uh, I've had really good luck. Now you may not trust plugs and that's fine. You can take your wheel to a competent place that will remove the tire and not damage your wheel. And they have a method if the place supports it of cutting through the sound deadening material in this particular tire and then applying some kind of a vulcanized rubber patch to the inside. So if that works for you, then you can do it. And perhaps you live in a city that has more up-to-date tire services than we do out here in the country. So my choice is if the puncture is small enough, I will plug it and it's uh, not a bad way to go. I've had really good luck personally with it. However, you may not choose to do it. I hope my video here shed some light on actually plugging a tire. If you've never seen that, it's uh, kind of an interesting procedure. Some people like it, some people don't. I have no trouble with it personally, especially considering my situation. And of course, if you'd like to buy yourself a Tesla, the referral link shown right here at the bottom of the screen will get you a thousand miles or 1500 kilometers of free supercharging. This is available worldwide. And a little added bonus, if you get your car delivered by the end of 20, December 31st, 20, you will get one year of free supercharging. Also, if you can take delivery this year and currently it's December 24th, so you only have a week to order and take delivery of your Tesla. It might be worth gobbling up that extra year's worth of free supercharging if you're in the mood to do it. And feel free to use my referral link here at the bottom of the screen to get you that thousand miles of free supercharging, which goes on top of your year of free supercharging should you actually take deliver by December 31st, 2020. Thank you for watching. I'll look for you again and take care.